Hello Donna, this is Tom. I'm uh, actually on Regal Road right now. One of your old stomping grounds from when you was a little bitty teenager. Uh, this is the highway that ran next to our community, I-26. And uh, right here used to be a big traffic circle. Call. Same Exxon station over there, but uh, this is the entryway to our little housing development. Yeah, it's turned into a pretty busy place. This is probably one of the major thoroughfares that leave out of the Spaltenburg area now, and it's generally backed up until that next light that you see during rush hour uh, of course going the opposite way that we're going right now but if you remember Sheffield we're coming into Sheffield now as soon as this traffic lets up but uh, this is our old neighborhood you can see we got an outback up there to Zaxby's now and quite busier than it used to be. I think this was maybe a four lane or a big two lane when you were here. Well, this is it. You might start recalling some of this. Now we got speed bumps now. I come through here about once every six months or so and Say hello to the old neighborhood. This is your old street, Larkspur Lane. You remember Larkspur Lane? He probably wasn't born yet when we were here. I think this is to the left. That's your house down there. But to the left here is the Creech's old house. There's your house. Make sure I don't have a wreck here. But I'm going to turn around in their driveway or your old driveway. Back there is a uh, apartment houses. But here it is. 114 Larkspur Lane. Let's go around the circle down here. I don't know if you knew anybody down here in this circle. I I don't recall anybody down here but we're gonna make one more loop around everything looks pretty much the same I guess except for trees that are grown up maybe some different colors here and there I guess this place has been here since the uh, very early 70s. It's been raining here a lot here lately, so everybody's grass is kind of real lush and overgrown. You hardly get a chance to cut it. It. Uh, stay so wet. I'm going to try and get you a shot here of your house a little bit better. I don't know if the building was there when you were here. I don't remember it. Well, that's it. Try to back up without hitting this tree behind me. I hope that brings back some memories for you. 
I'm right, back on Heather Drive now. I was just gonna drive around the, the one street up to my street. I don't know if you knew anybody down through here or not. There was a few teenagers that I kind of hung with a little bit. Here on the, I think it was the Wolves on the right. Smith's somewhere on the left. And there was a pool back there to the left. I don't know if we ever snuck in and swam there or our families were members or not, I just don't remember. It's been too long ago. There, here's my street coming up. And you can see how all the trees are right big. <laughs> I don't know if you remember the Beacon. The Beacon's, the owner's, he's died, but this is where his wife lived. Oh, excuse me, his sister lived. And, uh, I remember John Chiliotis. John Chiliotis lived off to the right, about two houses up. And then my house is by this light pole on the left hand side. It's different colors now, but it's, uh, it's the same house. 212, Seven Oaks Lane. I'm going to ride up here to the dead end, or what used to be the dead end, where we used to cut through the woods, where we used to go visiting each other. The road is still a dead end. And uh, I don't know if you can see your cul-de-sac back in there? No, you can't. Yeah, it's, it's, it's back behind them woods anyway. Oh yeah, we used to cut through there. 